Hey guys, Iceman here. Now, this is my godly barbarian, a frenzy barb. I'm sure you guys have seen my videos. It's freaking godly. Now, the thing about Diablo 2 is, generally speaking, the Waman do not like it. So you have to find a balance, man. If you find yourself playing throughout the wee hours of the night, and you can't get to sleep afterward, the game is running through your damn head as you try to get to sleepy. You might want to consider creating some borderlines and shit, you know what I mean? Like get off at a certain time or whatevs. It's probably healthy to some level to be doing the mathematics and shit, but it might get in the way of the women. Now, Daddy has some experience with the Waman, back when he was a little duck-billed platypus. Bit inexperienced, you know, but me's always had the good-looking Waman, for the most part. I've probably dated, like, one Waman that was like a 6 out of 10, you know what I mean? But, I mean, the rest have been like 8 to 10 out of 10s, man, depending on your scale. I know and some people would say that the 10s don't exist, and maybe that's true, but... Just some advice, this man, regarding these matters. You know, I thought I'd kind of dedicate just a moment to, okay? One of the best methods on getting the decent looking women or the attractive women, you have to limit yourself. Only go for the attractive ones. Don't mess around, man. Don't mess around with one that's not attractive in your eyes, you know, because you're probably gonna end up with it. And you don't want to do that, right? Her. <laughs> so, Another thing, back when I was a little quack, I used to think the women would come to me. Now, like I said, I had some good looking women, but it took a while sometimes. Sometimes there would be long spans of time, like six months, sometimes more, eight months, nine months, no women. For whatever reason, I had this warped perspective that as long as I just kind of looked cool or whatever, the Waman would come to me. But it's false. Yeah, don't give into that bullshit, man. The reality is you have to go to the Waman. It's like fishing. Have you guys ever been fishing before? You know what I mean? Where you just continually cast out your damn line. Now, of course, there's better places to cast. But it takes a lot of casts very often. Even if, you know, you're so-called good with Waman or whatever. So you're gonna have a lot of misses. You're gonna reel that damn thing in many times and there's not gonna be a fish on it. So the strategy is to just cast a lot. You know, maybe if you find a day you wanna go out and take a lot of casts, go up to the weapon and you don't have to know them. In fact, it's probably better you don't. And just go straight up and start conversation and try to get the number. You know, that's where it all begins and it's a good sign if you get it. And half the time it'll be real, and it won't be some fake number. Generally speaking, anyway. And you gotta be able to deal with projection, you know? If you have the sensitive ego, you gotta get past it. And another big thing is you have to create the illusion that you're a confident man. Create the illusion that you have high self-esteem and shit, you know? Or whatever that means that you believe good things will come to you. You have to radiate the facade that creates that illusionary perspective to the women. And that's all, man. And there's several ways of doing that. Daddy ain't no expert on that, but there's ways to do it, okay? Like Google it and shit. But yeah, the bottom line is you gotta go out and don't go to the bars. The bars is filled with hoes, nasty hoes, and gold daggers. So don't go to the bars. Go to less traditional places, like parks and shit. Uh, places toward college campuses generally are helpful, but I mean, it doesn't even have to be that. You know, go to the freaking grocery store. You know, approach the woman when she's looking at the lettuce and shit, okay? The veggies. 
you know, try to stay away from like the sweet aisles and stuff like that because the, the quality of women might decline to some extent if they shop frequently in those areas. But I mean, every guy has his own taste, right, to some extent. But I think generally speaking, it's, it's, they're quite similar when it comes to the skill of hotness and so forth. So that's what you got to do, man. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a numbers game and it's like fishing. You just got to keep going up to the women. Don't be too whack with it, you know, too radical. You got to be able to take hits, uh, metaphorically speaking. You know, very oftentimes it's most likely the women will say, holy shit, look at this. A uh, superior armor. Ah, blast. I was hoping that would be defense enhanced and that would be freaking godly. But often the woman will give you a strange look and all that. Or she'll say no, she'll decline. But that's why you gotta move on. Like I said, it's it's like fishing. You know, do not let that deflect your aim. You know what I mean? So what do you guys think of the advices so far? I mean <laughs> Daddy thinks that's pretty good advice. You know, it's very basic. I mean like I said, when I was a little potty bus, I didn't know that shit. I thought the woman would just come to me, but it ain't true, man. It ain't true, and in a lot of cases, it's important to some level to get the money first. First you get the money, and then you get the women. It's helpful, at least if you can support yourself. You know what I mean? You don't have to be doing anything too impressive or have too many monies in your bank account. But you have to, uh, I mean, support yourself, man. Don't be a freaking slob, you know? It's going to be tough if you take a woman to your parents' house. It's going to be tough. But it's still, there's still success rates in that. But I would say they decline significantly when you try to take the women to your parents' house or to your apartment with your roomies and shit like that. That's probably another pretty important thing is try not to have roomies. You know, support yourself on your own without the roomies. And that's a great place to start. It's a great place to be. That's pretty much all you need. You need the car. And you need to have your own place. It can be an apartment, doesn't really matter. Having yourself a little trailer, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt you some. But I mean, some folks do it. And it's possible, you know? That's all I'll say with that. But an apartment is a, definitely a step up from there. You know? But what do you guys think of that, those advices? Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, Daddy has more advices to come, okay? And it's good advices. Seriously, it's good advice. Yeah. So let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 if this advice is good or bad. Uh, 10 being very good advice. <laughs> and like the damn video and subscribe to the page. More Diablo videos to come. The ladder might reset soon, so Daddy is going to probably stream some of that shit. And make a blizzard sword at this point. Because the last video I made was on the fire orb meteor or fire orb sword with fireball and frozen orb. It's fun, and a nightmare, it's very effective especially. And hell, it's doable, but the build freaking sucks on efficiency and getting shit done quick. Yeah, so the Blizzard Sork, Daddy's gonna go that all the way next ladder. That's my plan right now, anyway. I know that's subject to change. Shit, Rel. But the Blizzard Sork just does a shitload of damage, man. So I'm gonna be teleporting around the Chaos Sanctuary, skipping some of the cold immunes, Maybe having a fortitude on my Merc, or just at least a lot of damage. Teleport into those Oblivion Knights and let the Merc beat the shit out of them. Because of course all I'll be doing is cold damage, they're immune to cold. So that's going to be my only hope. But probably skip them for the most part and just doing the seals. And kill Satan. And continually repeat and such. And MF other areas, bosses and stuff. I'm kind of excited to MF the bosses again because it's been some time. Yeah, Daddy's just been running like high level and shit. Ooh, look at here. Come on, be some GG boots. Die, junk. Alright, but like this video. And more videos to come. The channel's been growing, man, over the past month. You know, someone notified me just the other day how he subbed two weeks ago, and I now have twice the subscribers since he last checked, or since he subbed. So that's good news, man. The channel's growing. People are liking the video. People are commenting. It just, uh, good things happening, man. All day long, it seems, with the channel. So I appreciate it, and I intend to keep going and get it bigger and bigger. So, peace be with you. More videos to come.